are, it's Saturday and we're about to put some gravel in a hole. <laughs> we're going to basically make a, a way for the box that we built the other day to fit um, to surround the plumbing um, for this side the, this is the tiny house. Uh, so come along. All right, so we actually didn't end up filming too much yesterday. We got just going on the project and I th we think we made the connections, <laughs> but we haven't tested it yet because we're getting electricity tomorrow like turned on and we didn't want to put any water through the system until we had electricity because we're going into negative temperatures um, potentially tonight, tomorrow night, etc. So we just didn't want to take the risk. Um, but yeah, what we did is basically connected it here at the tiny house end. Um, Dad can show it if he doesn't fall down into the trench. Um, so it's, yeah, connected kind of in that corner. You can't really see it from here. To the tiny house. Um, and then the pipe goes all the way to the, the home. We're a bit concerned about the pressure that we are getting. But again, we'll just have to see if that's enough pressure to get it to the pressure tank inside to run all the appliances. Um, I'm hopeful, but if not, we might have to call in some official professional reinforcements to see what else I, we can I, do. I think it's fine. I, I mean, I okay. upped the pressure inside of our house to 70 psi as well. Yeah. On our uh, tank, uh, on the pump from the uh, well. Yeah. So we just need to put the front of the box on, and um, run an extension cord, and um, probably just spray foam it so it's all really secure, and then. Uh, our excavator guy will be coming um, mid midweek to cover up the whole trench, and then hopefully that's that. Then I can move in. Well, well, sorry, we'll also have to put the skirting around the tiny house for further insulation and protection. Um, yeah, so, so the skirting will be kind of the final job. Screws into these holes here, and the skirt runs down then to the to the ground. So we're getting there, we'll keep you updated. Fingers crossed. So um, I think that's it for this week. And uh, we'll be uh, updating also on other things that we're doing. For instance, we removed all of the sunflowers uh, from, the, uh, um, from the garden and uh, we're getting to the point uh, where we can actually um, put the uh, cricket uh, manure down as uh, uh, compost and then uh, a mulch of uh, straw over top and then the silage tarps over top of that and then the beds will be ready for winter. Uh, so we've got a couple of weeks of uh, work yet to do but we're moving in that kind of direction. All right so signing off uh, so long for now we'll talk to you on the next one. Is it Goodbye. 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 Oh. <laughs>